Hello, Python enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting Python animation tutorial. Today, we're going to explore two fundamental string operations, string concatenation and string replication. Let's start with string concatenation. Concatenation means joining two or more strings together. Python Hash example 1, string concatenation. String 1 equals hello. String 2 equals Python. Result equals string 1 plus string 2. Print result. In this example, we have two strings, string 1 and string 2. By using the plus operator, we can concatenate them together to create the result string, which is hello, Python. Now, let's move on to string replication. Replication means repeating a string multiple times. Python. Hash example 2, string replication. Original underscore string equals Python. Replicated underscore string equals original underscore string 3. Print replicated underscore string. In this example, we have the original underscore string containing Python. We use the operator to replicate it three times, creating the replicated underscore string, which is Python. 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 String concatenation and replication are often used together to manipulate strings in Python. Python. Hash example 3, combining concatenation and replication. First underscore name equals John. Last underscore name equals Doe. Full underscore name equals first underscore name plus plus last underscore name. Greeting equals hello, plus full underscore name plus. Repeated underscore greeting equals greeting two. Print repeated underscore greeting. In this example, we first concatenate first underscore name and last underscore name to create full underscore name. Then, we use concatenation again to create greeting, which is hello, John Doe. Dot finally, we replicate greeting twice to get repeated underscore greeting, which is hello, John Doe. Hello, John Doe. Dot. That's it. You've learned how to perform string concatenation and replication in Python. These operations are essential when working with text data in your programs. Practice them to become a Python pro. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments section below. Happy coding!